Hey guys, welcome back to another video in 2022. I finally uploaded a video, guys. Um, I know you guys have been wondering probably where I am, where I am, but I'm here, guys. Just focusing on family right now, focusing on my life, my kids, my wife, so that that type of stuff. Um, you know, plus work has been hectic lately. Um, you know, I'm just kind of took a little break, but we're back. Um, so what you're looking at right now is a v 1.8 build um you're probably wondering why not a trident um because i already built a trident and um and i've always liked the v 1.8 ever since i built it on the live stream build with you guys the iron man theme v 1.8 i've really liked the you know i got fascinated with it. it it was really nice to build i really enjoyed that build and i've always wanted to turn you know, I already said in my heart that I wanted to turn my X5SA Pro, which is also a beast itself. It was great. You know, all the mods I did to it made it great, but I've always wanted to turn it into a bigger V1.8. And, um, you know, so, and again, I love the way the V1.8 prints, man. The It just prints clean. Like, I don't get any Z-wobble with it. I'm not sure of, of just how it was set up, uh, but Eddie... Eddie, which is the main designer on the V1.8. Eddie, I just want to shout out to you, man. You did good on the V1.8. I've never seen any lead screw robber from my V1.8. Um, it, it just prints amazingly well. And I was really impressed. Now, I do get a little bit of uh, a Z wobble on my Trident. And that's because I'm using um, single start lead screw, which is a little bit more, um, I should put it, because you get a little bit more friction um they're not as easy to line up they're not as smooth so you might every every so often you might get a little bit of z wobble on the the, the uh, on a on 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 a on my trident just because of the single single star lead screws however with four starts or two starts you're not going to really run into that issue just because again you, they, there's not a lot of friction on them and they move easily um um, so, but but also that means you lose your positioning easily when the printer turns off. Like you have to do a lot more uh, Z tilt and use a lot more of the technology built into Clipper in order to get the better level out again, which is fine. Um, but you won't see a lot of the uh, the issues you would see with a single start lead screw. So, but yeah, I just wanted to build a V1.8. Now I posted this on the Tron C facebook page and a lot of people are shouting out vz bot vz bot vz bot now listen i understand that vz bot is the latest and, and and coolest printer but vz bot and i've been following him for a while ever since he showed the video of how fast it can print and and um but i think that's a different segment for me in my opinion because that printer seemed to be chasing uh speed lightweight and and print quality and um and, and and i do agree in that aspect of all of that i think that all that's fantastic but in my opinion going with the metal setup with the a light aluminum all that i feel like now you now you're going to a place of kind of like the essence of 3d printing is getting removed because you know due to limitation um in certain aspect of the printer right also aesthetics for me is not there on vz but like you know what i'm saying like it, it looks okay but aesthetically it's not my thing okay so so for those two reasons and plus i'm not one to chase speed anyways i don't really care about how fast a printer can print especially for a person like myself that have seven printers they're mostly vorons but i have seven printers so i don't really need high extreme speed um 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 to get my my my, my prints done 
Um, and I will always prioritize, like I've showed you, quality, quality prints over any speed print, you know, to win some kind of award. So again, this is no shot at VZ, but there's no take down. I think VZ Bud is awesome. I, I like that. I like the idea of him pushing the speed, pushing the quality, pushing everything and experimenting. I think it's pretty cool. But I just, like I said, for me, it's not for me. Maybe for someone else that wants all of that, but for me, it's not for me. This is why I like Voron. I just like the aesthetic. I like the fact that it prints decently, decently, not as fast, but it prints decently, 7K, 8K. That's plenty enough for me um, at 100, 200 millimeter second. That's plenty, I don't need any more than that. Um, and just the look, it's just a nice printer to stare at. A lot of people who come to my house and see this printer, they're mesmerized by the, the print quality, how it, how it looks, They it just, you know what I'm saying? Voron says it all. So for me, when it look, aesthetically wise, Warren is this definitely the standard um, in terms of aesthetics, in my opinion. But anyways, not to go on that rant, like I said, VZBot is awesome. I think that's another option people can go for, especially if you want, you know, if you have one printer or two printer, but you want them to print fast, I think that's a really good option to go on. But someone who have a lot of printers, if you have a ton of printer, you don't really need to be worried about chasing speed or, or that crazy stuff. Um, another thing, um, the reason why I want to build this is because, like I said, I think this will be my last kind of Voron build for a while unless Voron releases, you know, something, uh, uh, another fancy thing, but this will be my last Voron build for a while. Now, I will, however, I have an upcoming project that I will convert my Voron legacy, um, uh, using the VZ bot gantry. I don't care about the, the bed per se. I don't really, uh, I don't really like the bed setup. But um, I'm going to be keeping my foreign legacy bed set up with the rods, but use the VZ bot gantry and give that a try. Um, but that's all I'm going to really be doing in terms of VZ bot, anything VZ bot. Um, and I have another project coming up. I also still, keep in mind guys, I still want to build an Annex Engineering K3. Um, I know that's going to be a pricey printer. That's another twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 printer. And um, um, that's coming out further down in the year, just not right now, until I build up some funds. But that's another printer I would like to have, and I think that would be the last printer for me to build, just because of the cost. <laughs> and I really don't need it, but I just want to build it. You know what I'm saying? I really want to build it. I don't need it, but I would love to build a, a Annex K3. I think it's fascinating. Um, and I also want to. I also want to build, and this is really bad. I also want to build a mini. Voron Legacy, like a small, tiny one, like, you know, a really small Voron Legacy. I want to, I want to challenge myself. So I, I think I want to do that as an experiment. But outside of that, guys, there's more stuff coming. So, you know, I'm sorry I haven't posted, but there's more stuff coming. And as you can see, the build is coming along nicely. Um, I didn't spend much on this at all because I have a lot of spear parts from, from the previous printers I've built. I just had a ton of extrusions, a ton of spear stuff. So the only thing I really purchased was the linear rails, um, uh, four MG and nine linear rails, the two 350s and two 400s here. Uh, that's all I bought. Um, that was but maybe $100 or less. That's all I bought. Everything is um, Everything I'm using you see here is existing that I already had in my uh, on my resources. So I didn't spend much. So $100 to convert this. Yeah, not bad. Now for most people who don't have parts like this laying around, um, this will probably cost you a little bit more, maybe close to seven to convert, maybe six, if depend on how uh, resourceful you are in terms of uh, sourcing your own parts um, and screws and nuts, bolts, you know, uh, rails, that type of thing. If you're good at sourcing, you might come on cheaper. But like I said, um, this only cost me $100 just because I already had so much extra resources from previous printers that I've built and bought. So, but again, easy, easy build so far. Um, in the last video, in the next video, I'll go through some more details, like, you know, what, what I had to cut or what I have to change. It's not much, honestly, but I'll go through some more details with that. But I just want to show you that I'm in the process um, of, of building it. Now, I didn't do any um, live stream on this bill. Um, I was going to, but uh, honestly, I don't have a nice camera yet. And I'm kind of tired of using the webcams, so I will be investing in a nicer camera um, for just the, the main shoot. 
and then use some of the webcams I have for like uh, secondary positions. So I will still live stream down further down in the year, just not right now. Um, but right now I'm just sticking to the video format just because, you know, again, I can kind of show you guys around. It's easier and, you know, and um, I can go to a little bit more detail while focusing and not being distracted by the comments. <laughs> not that you guys comments are distracting, but just I can focus and tell you the information more clearly um, and not be too distracted. So, but yeah, it's there. I'm using Amazon. This ABS is from Amazon. The gray ABS is from Amazon. Love Amazon ABS. They've really been good so far. And the green one is from Matter Hackers, like uh, Matter Hackers Forest Green um, from their build series. So I'm also going to be using the cookie probe here. As you can see, using a cookie probe right here. Um, this as well, uh, what I was going to mention, you can definitely use the stealth burner and the clockwork too on the two MGN rails. I know there's some confusion before that you can't use the, the stealth burner and clockwork too on the, the dual MGN 9H rail setup, but you can. There's actually STL in the uh, stealth burner uh, uh, folder on GitHub that includes the the base plate for using that uh, setup. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm also gonna be updating my Voron 2.4 to the new SDLs um, to get that up to date. And so that way I can put the stealth burner and clockwork too on that. Um, so a couple stuff to do in the background as I don't, as I finish them guys, I'll post videos and, and keep you guys in the loop. And like I said, I'm still gonna do some, um, some Clipper autos. There's a couple of autos I would like to show and maybe a couple of autos I would like to update. But um, in the meantime, just stay tuned, guys. I'm still here. Keep asking the questions. As soon as I can get around to them, I'll answer them. Um, I appreciate you guys' support. And like I said, man, this channel is for you guys. It's really to just show you guys the possibility um, that you can pretty much convert, you know, any of the Tronxy series, the X5S8, X5S8 Pro into a different beast. Um, um, like I said, there's a lot of potential, potential in that, um, with that frame. So to recap, I can tell you the X5SA or the X5SA Pro, but mainly the X5SA can be turned into a Voron Legacy, a Voron 1.8, a Voron Trident, and a Voron 2.4. Of course, you're going to need a little bit more for a Voron 2.4, but it can be converted into a Voron 2.4. And so far, a VZ bot, right? Which a VZ bot is based off of X5S, um, but it's the same thing as the X5SA. You can, you know, convert it to that. So there's a lot of printer that the Tronxy uh, printers can be converted to because it already has a box frame and it's easy, 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 easy to convert. I promise, super easy to convert to. So I just want to give you guys a possibility that you can convert. Uh, you know, the lock luster Tronxy X5SA and Pro into something even better. So, but this, that's just the highlight that you can. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. In the next video, I'll go through a little bit more details on what I've done. Um, I just wanted to hop on here to tell you guys that I'm still around. <laughs> the channel is not dead and there's more things to come. So stay tuned, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.